In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can install Fabric on Minecraft 1.21.10 and use mods with it. Before we dive into this guide, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. If you really just hop the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this, we'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guide you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But first things first, in order to do this, go ahead and exit out of Minecraft. And yes, this does include the Minecraft launcher as well. So go ahead and close out of that. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is actually open up a web browser of your choice. In this case, we're going to go ahead and have Google Chrome opened up right here. But what you're going to want to go ahead and do first is download Fabric and Fabric API. So in one tab, go ahead and search for curseforge.com and then hit this Minecraft section, specifically browse all. And in this browse all section, go ahead and search for Fabric API and hit enter. And up at the very top, go ahead and select this option, go into files and then filter it by game version 1.21.10. Click on these three dots up in the top right and hit download file. It's gonna load for about five seconds right here. And after it does load, it'll download up at the very top. It may say something like suspicious download blocked. Go ahead and just select that and hit download suspicious file and you'll be good to go. Now in the next tab, go ahead and just search up fabricmc.net and go ahead and hit download and then select download for windows and it'll download up at the very top very quickly. And this is gonna be the installer itself. So go ahead and select on that installer. Make sure it's filtered by 1.21.10 and make sure that you say create profile right here and then select install and then hit okay. Now from here, you can navigate to any mods website really at all. In this case, I would recommend just staying on Curse Forge, but you can actually go back to the main page, select Minecraft again, hit browse all and then filter by game version 1.21.10 and find really any mod you'd like to go ahead and download. In this case, let's go ahead and say I wanna download a map mod just like so i'd select this go into the files section and then filter once again by 1.21.10 and just find whatever one works with fabric right here hit those three dots next to it and then hit download file and then that mod will download you specifically want to look for ones that work with fabric since that's what we just finished installing but essentially after downloading whatever mod you want and fabric api as well as fabric back out of chrome and open up the minecraft launcher just like so it's going to load for a second, but once it does actually load, you're going to see Fabric Loader down here for 1.21.10. If it's not there, change it to Fabric Loader and then go into this installation section and find that exact same loader and hit this installations folder. From here, scroll down and you're going to see a mod section. Open up that folder and then open up another file explorer page and go into your downloads and just find whatever mod you just downloaded as well as Fabric API and drag it in there and close out of these. From here, go into play. Once again, confirm that it says Fabric Loader 1.21.10 and hit play again, and you'll get loaded into Minecraft. Now, as we get loaded in, I just wanna say, if you do wanna play multiplayer, servers must also run Fabric with the same mods. But now that we are loaded in, and if you just wanna play single player, all you have to do is just go into single player, and then you can create a new world or load it into a previous one. And as soon as you get loaded in, it's going to show you that Fabric is working with your mods. As you can see, if I just open up M to open up this map, you'll see that I have this entire map on here. But yeah, it really is as simple as that. If you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below. And before you do leave this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel. And let's just know that you want more content like this. We greatly appreciate it. And if at any point that this guide, you did have any questions, remember you can ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. Have a great rest of your day though. Peace.